Hey Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share a really fun holiday craft. Now I know I've been bringing you several videos with products provided by Diamond Dots, but you guys, they sent me a review box. And this was not a small review box. This was by far the most generous <laughs> review package I have ever received. Huge thanks to Diamond Dots. I will be spacing out the rest of the unboxings a bit, but there was a ton of holiday goodies in the box that I wanna show you, of course, because it's the holiday season right now, and that's when you might feel like having some holiday fun. So today, we're gonna sit and chat a bit. We're going to be making some Diamond Dots holiday cards. <laughs> These are so cute. Now I've said before that paper crafting was my first love. And so I'm pretty dang excited about showing you these. Now, of course, you're going to need a couple other things besides your card kit. I'll be sure to link where you can find these in the description below, don't worry. You're also gonna need a tool kit. So I have a drill boat and a wax pot, and this is one of Diamond Dot's Ergo styluses. So you can find all of these at the link to Joann stores below or at your local Joann store. Support your local store. So like I said, these were provided for review. I've been giving you my honest feedback all along and you're gonna keep getting it here today. <laughs> so let's see, which card do we wanna do today? We have the choice between elf legs and Santa legs. Everybody pick their team. Pick your team, elf legs or Santa legs. No matter what I do, half of you will feel like you've won. I'm gonna go with elf legs today, only because it seems like it's maybe a little smaller and it'll be a little faster to do on a video. But I love the Santa legs too. So those of you who pick Santa legs, I hear you. those are cute. Those are cute. Let's see what's in this. I'm impressed with how they could ship this and not get it all crinkled up. All right, this did come with an envelope. We have the card itself with a plastic cover, of course, to keep the adhesive safe. We have our guide there. We have our drills. Here's our legend that just comes separately, and each kit has its own legend. And then there are our drills, little tiny packets of drills. Now, this is gonna be a one sitting project. I have a feeling, but as I go along, I'll show you a super simple, like I need to pause this project trick because we all have those moments. So I'm gonna start with my biggest area first, I think. I'm gonna start with this V in my little elf's tunic here, and that's gonna be A05. Two things I forgot you needed. Scissors and coffee with froth. Necessary diamond painting tools there. So how have you guys been? <laughs> I wish you could talk back to me sometimes because I talk to myself a lot when I'm doing these videos. Now, I wonder if this top cover is reversible or if I pull it off, if I'm gonna get it back down the right way. I could stick a little bit of masking tape on the top so that I know which side is supposed to go up. That's another trick for if you have to pause, probably. We're just gonna go for it here. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna see how long this project takes an experienced diamond painter, <laughs> right? All right, A05, shade 8250. These drills are very sparkly. Oh my gosh, very sparkly. I am going to be wishing on this project that I had a multi-placer because there's a lot of color blocking and a multi-placer would be lovely. I hope you guys have been well. Things have been crazy in the world, just crazy. I've heard from so many lovely people lately on the channel just saying, you know, this is going on for me. Please send me positive vibes or please send prayers. I have this going on. And I just want you guys to know out there that if you have really difficult stuff going on, right now. You have at least one person out here <laughs> thinking about you. Because things are crazy. Things are crazy. I have particular people in mind, but I'm positive there are people out there I don't know about. Big hugs. Big hugs to all of you. The world is crazy. It's a, it's a holiday season unlike 
any in recent memory, that's for sure. So this year for our holiday celebration, we are not getting together with any family, just our immediate household again. Both of my siblings live really close to me, and that's always been a lot of fun. So it's going to be kind of strange not seeing them, but my sister's a school teacher, and so she has a lot of exposure right at the moment, and my mom lives with my family. And so we're just um, doing our best to keep mom as safe as we can right at the moment, and then um, just hoping things will go back Go back to a little more of our usual celebration next year. I do have some um, devious plans to deliver some Christmas cheer to my siblings over the next couple of days, so that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. The adhesive on this is outstanding. That's that's great. I'm not able really to reposition drills too much. So that's something you might want to be aware of. I think that these drills are going to stay on this card when I mail it very well. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any problems losing drills off the front of the card. I think these cards might have to go in my in my little uh, my little surprise deliveries. <laughs> that would be a nice additional touch, I think. I love giving cards at Christmas that are just a little something extra so maybe they're handmade and they have a little bit of extra dimension or maybe they're hand colored or just something a little a little bit extra special so these I think would definitely qualify as extra special and I have to say this would be a very fun holiday craft for kids to get in on all right we're on to the uh, the jingly socks now <laughs> this is super fun. My heater is going to come on very loudly. Very loudly now. It's the joys of living in a very northern climate. Except that our very northern climate has not been very cold this year. It's been super weird. Like today it's, it's 40 degrees. In December. It's very odd. Very odd. And we have probably maybe three inches of snow on the ground, which I'm not complaining because one gets really tired of cleaning off their car after a while, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, here's my trick for if you had to pause. So I actually think I'm done with this color and I have a lot of drills left. So I'm just gonna attempt to stick them back in my little container here. And then I'm gonna grab a little piece of scotch tape and just seal that up. Now, because of Diamond Dot's proprietary drill numbering system, I might or might not go to the trouble of saving all of these in my stash. Diamond Dots does have that DMC to Diamond Dots conversion chart on their site now, which is really nice. So I might take a peek and just see how close they are to the DMC that's closest coordinating. All right, I'm gonna go next for a one, which is the equals sign. And we're gonna do some, some elfy shoes. This is so fun, oh my gosh. This is a very relaxing thing, very relaxing. It's a beautiful day, beautiful 40 degree day. Oh my gosh, this is very cute. So I'm now moving along my, my elf's inner thigh with some shading here. This is very fast. A fast card project is nice because Holidays are busy. And if you're making a lot of these, each one needs to be pretty quick. It's a hard balance, right? Not too quick, but it can't take too long. We wanna have time to settle into the diamond painting experience, but we also wanna be able to knock out the project we need to knock out. So in this big package of review products from Diamond Dots, 
I also received a freestyle box and there are so many cool things in that box that I'm excited to show you. <laughs> I have I have a lot of plans. I have a lot of plans. <laughs> now there are, are many correct methods for doing this, right? But my method seems to be outlining and then filling in. <laughs> I didn't plan it that way, but that seems to be what I enjoy doing. It is kind of satisfying, I must say. All right. Now we're moving along to some elf tights. <laughs> this is kind of a brighter red. Elf tights. I think maybe I need some striped tights. Probably in reality, I don't. Are you guys into the ugly Christmas sweater thing? If you are, tell me in the comments below, like what is your most hideous Christmas sweater? When do you wear it? <laughs> How did it come about? I want to hear all about it because I have ugly Christmas sweater envy. I adore like the Christmas sweaters that just say something silly on them and I would really like to have one. I just never remember to order them until like December 15th and by the time I think about it all the best ones are always sold out. <laughs> I need to set a reminder on my phone for the day after Halloween to find an ugly slash funny Christmas sweater so that I don't keep missing out. There are just so many good options out there, I feel like, that I've missed out on. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to just watch the colors appear, you know? To watch them fill in. I have kind of a weird obsession with diamond painting canvases that are printed with black and white symbols. I kind of think that's an amazing idea because it feels like a big reveal with every square that you do. But I'm getting that vibe here too as I fill it in. It's so satisfying. So in the recent um, craft along video that I did with Sophia, I talked about our favorite Christmas tradition and how mine is the girls creative restaging of my Victorian Christmas village. <laughs> well, this week we have a new addition. We have the Christmas Village Wizard of Oz edition, which I must say features an outstanding bit of origami created by Sophia based on an original idea by Olivia. <laughs> so congrats on your execution of the latest edition. <laughs> of my Christmas village and this one was so wholesome that I feel like it's a shame that none of my students get to witness it unlike some of the horrors of the past <laughs> which I talked about a little bit in several whip and chats over the last few years we find our fun where we can especially in 2020 because the fun's been hard to come by this year and so we gotta laugh at every single thing that we can. Oh my gosh, look how cute his little striped legs are. That's the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it. A very cute project. Very cute. Well thought out, Diamond Dots. Well thought out. And I think these designs lend themselves really, really well. To diamond painting. You know how on some of the cards out there you get really bizarre inside images or they're kind of sideways or they're just they're a little wonky at times. With diamond dots you don't get any of that. You don't get any of that. It's gonna turn out it's gonna turn out to be something you can be proud to make. Alright I'm going on to A04. This is another stripe on my tights. It's a white stripe, off-white stripe in this case. So I think over the next couple days, we are going to attempt cookie making part two. I think I finally found a sugar cookie recipe for high altitude that's gonna work without my sugar cookies growing extra arms and legs and weird heads and stuff like they did last year 
we were trying to decorate our sugar cookies and they would just would not hold their shape and it was super frustrating. But I think this year, I hope I've cracked it. I hope I found the solution. <laughs> I'll let you know so that if you're a, a high altitude baker like I am, maybe you can have sugar cookie success as well. There are people out there who do some phenomenal Christmas cookies. I am not one of those people. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but I absolutely hate cooking. I hate it. There, there are things, there are chores that I don't mind. You know, because we all, we're all adults. We just got to do it sometimes, right? It doesn't matter how many years go by or how much better I get at cooking. I just, it, it's really not my hobby. <laughs> it's not for me. And uh, I must say, I don't have tremendous skill in baking either. But we're going to try it again this year. We're going to see how it goes. See if it's a, a little bit improved from our experience last time. Oh my gosh, this just gets cuter as I go. This is amazing. These Diamond Dots drills are incredibly sparkly. Very high quality drills. I'm impressed. Look at his stripy legs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's outstanding. Outstanding. Let's see if I can spill my drills everywhere. I should have made a bigger opening in my package there. <laughs> Do better, Jessica. Do better. I'm all the way to the snow at the bottom. These are beautiful. They're not AB, they're kind of a pearlescent white. They're really pretty. I don't know about you guys, but I always save my special drills for last. It's like a fun reward for finishing all the regular drills <laughs> because I love, I love me some special drills. These are really pretty. Those are so pretty. I'm definitely keeping those little pearls in my stash. A really nice touch down there at the bottom. Last but not least, we have the cute little jongly bells at the end of his little slippers here. And on the bottom of his tunic, that's so cute. So let's dump a couple of those in my boat. Now for these special drills, I usually just get my pen really, really heaping full of wax. And I can usually grab them okay it works okay you can also use tweezers oh my gosh how cute is that you guys <laughs> adorable so as you see i have plenty left six left so in case your dog eats some you'll have plenty of drills i'm going to keep those in my stash as well Having a few special drills in your stash can be really handy. And if you don't have to worry about the color coding, that's super easy. Here is my adorable elf leg Christmas card. All finished up. I thought this was a very fun, very fast, very cute Christmas project. Like I said, it would be great to do with kids. It would be so much fun. The pros of this kit were the quality, of course. Diamond Dots always delivers when it comes to quality. You know what you're going to get. There are rarely surprises. That's always a good thing. The drills are very faceted. Some of the sparkliest round drills in the whole diamond painting industry, I think. So overall, I thought this kit was a ton of fun. Thanks so much, Diamond Dots, for sending this along. I had a lot of fun making this card. I know that whoever I send it to is just gonna love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some diamond painted Christmas cards today. Again, check the link in the description below. I'll be sure to link everything I can down there. I hope you have a very, very happy and safe holiday season. Take care of yourself. Take care of the people you love. 
As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.